you love cookies. Okay, guys, are you ready for our vacation? This is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. Me either. We haven't been on a vacation in forever. Come on, let's go into the airport before we forget um, what our flight number is. I'm not gonna forget because I can't wait to go on this plane and go on vacation. Um, honey, uh, you're running the wrong way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I forgot something, but I guess not. Nah, we didn't forget anything. Let's see. It looks like our flight leaves. Uh, oh, my God. It's boarding right now. Theme park. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I couldn't agree more. The girls are going to love it. Right, Molly and Daisy? Girls? Mom, I'm right here. Jeez. Okay, well, where's Molly? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen her since we left for the airport. What? Was she in the car? I don't know. I thought you were responsible for the kids. And I was getting the luggage. Well, wait a minute. I carried the luggage. Why wouldn't you be responsible for the kids? But I packed the luggage and I had to think about all the things I needed for, for the theme park. Oh, great. You left Molly at home and our flight is boarding. You know what that means? We're missing our vacation again. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll run home in a jiffy and pick her up. Well, hurry. I don't want us to miss our vacation. Oh, man. Oh, I got a great night's sleep, which is awesome, because I'm going to go on vacation today. I wonder if these sleepyheads are still sleeping. Mom, Dad, Daisy, come on, we're going on vacation. No, Mom. <laughs> Must be she's not even out of bed yet. Mom? Dad? Jeepers creepers, where are they? <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure they're just probably like um, waking up Daisy or something to get going. Daisy? Daisy? Where are you? Molly! Molly! Dad? What are, why are you yelling for me outside the house? Okay, what? Whatever, he probably wants my suitcase. <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? I just woke up and I was about to get some breakfast. Molly, you overslept your alarm and we left for the airport without you. What? You, you did? Seriously, you forgot me at home on vacation? Yeah, oopsie, I didn't mean to. But we have to get going. We're going to miss our flight. It's boarding right now. Jiminy Cricket! Well, why didn't you say so? Get in the car. What about your clothes? I'll buy something at the theme park. Okay. Dad, step on it. We don't want to miss vacation. Okay, Dad, don't kill us, though. Oh, my gosh. Maybe if I take a shortcut, I can get us there quicker. I mean, the plane is boarding right now. Uh-oh. I'm slowly coming to a stop. Dad, do you need gas? Um, yeah, I think so. No, you don't, Dad. You always got enough gas. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Dad, hurry. I don't want to miss the theme park. Well, maybe you should have listened to your alarm when it went off. I don't think it really went off. We both know that it did, Molly. Okay, sorry. Well, maybe we could take a later flight and meet Mom and Daisy there. No, the tickets are all sold out. We'll just miss the vacation. No! Step on it, Dad! Well, Molly, I'm glad we picked up some spare clothes for you at the gas station. Yeah, I found this really cool Star Squad shirt there. <laughs> We're everywhere. Yeah, you can pretty much buy our shirts anywhere these days. Mom! Daisy! They didn't leave yet, Dad! You made it just in time, guys. Oh, thank goodness. And Mom, how could you forget me at home? Oopsie, sorry. Molly, how could you oversleep you alone? I didn't mean to. Okay, come on, let's hurry. Whoa, security. Okay, I'm going through security. It scanned my bag. Can I go through now? Halt! Who goes there? Uh, me, Molly? Okay, well, I guess you can come through the scanner then. Ah, everybody's pushing and shoving! They're excited about getting to the theme park! Okay, I don't have any idea where my plane is. I'm just gonna go this way and hope for the best. Excuse me, hurry! We've gotta go to the theme park! Here comes our plane, I think. Wait, is it this one or this one? Ah, I don't know, but we're going to miss it if we don't figure it out. Finally, uh, I 
think this is the right flight. Molly, are you sure? Uh-huh, sure. Um, I think. Molly, where are we going? Wait a minute. This doesn't look like a theme park. Um, I think I actually put us on the wrong flight. Molly! Ugh, oh, first you didn't get in the car, and now you you brought us to the wrong place for vacation. Um, we can try to make the best of it. What? No, this isn't where we're supposed to be vacationing. Molly! Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin everybody's vacation. Look, as long as we're together as a family, that's all that matters. Right, guys? Yeah, I think so. Look, I'm gonna go to the theme park. Oh, Daisy. We'll take another flight out tomorrow, but tonight we could go camping. That'll be interesting, right? Yeah, sure. The bears can eat us. Sounds like a great time. Bears aren't going to eat us, Daisy. We're going to be fine. Um, what's that I hear? It sounds like a bear. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Daisy. Like Dad said, we're all together. Yeah, this is going to be great fun, <laughs> right? <laughs> Honey, come on. We're trying to get you potty trained and you just woke up. I know you must have to go. I don't have to go. Okay, we'll give it three minutes so that you have some time to wake up and then we're going to go into the potty, okay? I, 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 I. What? I potty, I potty, I potty, I potty. You're telling me you have to go potty. That's amazing. Come on, honey. Let's go into the potty then. No, I potty in my pants. <laughs> I potty. Yeah. Baby Kira, I just asked you if you had to go to the bathroom. And then you went poo-poo in your pants? <laughs> Ugh, we could have gone to the potty and you could have gone there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I, oopsie. Okay, baby Kira, this time we're going to sit on the potty, the potty chair. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm not sitting on that chair. Yes. If you're going to learn to be potty trained, you must sit on the potty chair. I'm not doing it. It gave me a monster lives in there. What? There's no monster in there. Look at it. Ooh. Right there. There's a monster in the potty. <laughs> ah, scary poo poo monster. Ah. Obviously, I don't remember what it's like being potty trained myself. Toilet monster? Ugh, is this some sort of new imaginary friend? Baby Kira, don't stand so close to the television. You're going to rot your brain. And also, do you have to go potty? I'm going to go potty. What a beautiful day, huh, baby Kira? Now, before we go for our walk, do you have to go potty? I'll have to go potty. Ooh, baby Kira, I have your favorite type of baby food. Strawberry banana. Now before our lunch, do you have to go potty? Uh-uh, no potty. Do you have to go potty? No potty. Oh, are you doing the pee-pee dance? Do you have to go potty? No, no potty. Oh, this potty training is going so badly. She should be ready by now, I thought. All I'm left with is a bunch of her dirty clothes that she peed and pooped on. Yeah. Oh, so frustrating. And so smelly. Pee Mom, 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 mom. Oh, there you are, mom. Oh, what is it, Molly? Mom, I was wondering, um, whoa, you look really grumpy. Can you turn that frown upside down? Because I feel like you're going to say no if your face looks like that. What's your question, Molly? I have to get back to doing all this... Laundry? Ugh. Ew, it smells like poo. That's because your baby sister refuses to potty train. Oh, well, that stinks. Literally. <laughs> Mom, can Brookie come over? We're going to make some Snapchats. No, Molly, not today. Oh, it's just too overwhelming with, with baby Kira needing to be potty trained and her not wanting to be potty trained. And, ugh, oh, not today. Come on, Mom. I want to see Brookie. Please, please. I even did all my homework this week. Please. Molly. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll help you potty train baby Kira. 
what? You're not a parent. How are you going to know how to potty train her? Look, sometimes you just need your big sister to show you how it's done. Trust me, Mom. I'll take over potty training if you let Brookie come over. Hmm. Well, it's worth a try. Okay. Now, I don't suppose you also want to wash all these poopy clothes. What? Can't hear you. Go in the call, Brookie. <laughs> Ooh, I need peeks. I love it. Big girl, we need to have a serious talk. Come over here and sit on the couch, please. I am big girl. She's a cutie. I sit on the couch. Yeah, and you're going to be a big girl like your big sister, Molly, by not peeing or pooping your pants, okay? <laughs> what? No, I don't think so. There's a monster in the toilet. Wait, what? I know you don't believe me, but he do. I hate scary. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I used to see the toilet monster, too. Oh, Dad? Really? Yeah, really. The toilet monster is nothing to be afraid of, though. He's actually friendly. And when you go potty, he eats the poo-poo. He's a good poo poo monster. Yeah. Really? Yes, and he's very hungry. Now come on, let's go up to the bathroom. See? There's a monster! I did it again! Do you see him? <laughs> yep, I sure do. Definitely see that monster. Uh-huh, yep. What do I do? You look that monster in the eye and you say, I know you're hungry, monster. I'm here to be your lifelong friend. Especially when you eat too many bean burritos. <laughs> He'll love you then. Yeah. Molly, I am free. You look that toilet monster in the eye and you tell him who's boss. I, 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 I. No, look him in the eye, baby Kira. I boss, because I had to go pooping. <laughs> what did he do? It growled a Okay. Time to do your business. Give me care. What are you doing? You don't Snapchat this. You. Holy guacamole! You must have eaten a lot of guacamole on your bean burritos. Hooray, though, baby Kira! You are potty trained. Congratulations. I potty trained. <laughs> My work here is done. Now I'm gonna go hang out with Brookie. If you have to go potty again, you come in and go to the bathroom on your own. <laughs> Almost here. There she is! Hey, Brookie! Yay! Hey, Molly, thanks for inviting me over. Whoa, why are you so short? I don't know. I think it's a Roblox thing. Or did you eat a lot of vegetables since the last time I saw you? No, it's probably a Roblox thing. It's okay. I don't mind it short. <laughs> I'm like a little baby compared to you. Anyway, Molly, I can't wait to go in the pool with you. I'm going to pool too. I'm going to pool too. I want to go. I want to go. Uh, I don't see why you can't. Um, girls, I don't think that's such a good idea. What? Why, Mom? Baby Kara wants to go swimming. She loves the pool. Because she's not potty trained and I haven't gone to Target to get any new swim diapers. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about a thing, Mom. I already potty trained her. Wait. What? I buy twin. I'm not afraid of toilet monster because you eat poo poo. Yeah, we totally got over the toilet monster thing and now she's potty trained. <laughs> My gosh, you are right, Molly. Can't believe you potty trained her in less than an hour. Okay, well, I guess she can go in the pool, but watch her. She's not the best swimmer yet. Don't worry, Mrs. Acker. We'll definitely watch her. Come on, baby Kira. Come on, Brookie. Let's go get in the pool. Water is so refreshing. I got to swim in the Echo Cannon Pool. Yeah, baby, care. Come on, jump in. Jump in. Oh, bro. <laughs> Whoa, baby Kira, good job. Wow. Oh, look at baby Kira. She's totally treading water. That is amazing. Good job. I like the pool. It's fun. Just remember, this is our ool. No P allowed. <laughs> I get it, because pool is spelled P-O-O-L, and if you call it an ool, that's better, because you don't want the P to be in there. Yeah, exactly. You need to remember that. I know no P in the pool. Aww. Five minutes later. Molly, what's that behind baby Kara? You did that, I 
poop in the pool? You, you pooped in the pool? Ew, it's floating! Ew, Molly! Ew! A pool has water like a toilet has water. Ew. Do the same thing. Ugh, are you kidding me? She, she... In the pool! Oh, baby Kira, I'm so... You, you shouldn't be doing that stuff. I thought you were potty trained and I'm... Ew! Gross, 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 gross! Who's swearing? No swearing in the... Oh! What's that floating in the pool? Oh! Ew! I made poop in the pool. Oopsie. Ew! It's a... It's a turd! just happened. Who's hungry for lunch? This cheeseburger looks delicious. Mmm. Yummy cheeseburger. <laughs>
job. No one's ever uh, asked for a dance party. It's always, you know, money or power, or blah, 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 blah. No one ever asks to just have fun. What the heck is going on here? Uh, can't you see? We're having a cool dance party with a genie? Wait, I wasn't invited? Ooh. Uh, you missed the most important word. Cool. I'm cool? What are you talking about? And how did you get this genie in my house anyway? Um, I found his little, I don't know, lamp-looking weird thing, and I touched it, and then I became his master. I get three wishes. Molly, you have to ask for something really important. This is an amazing opportunity. You're right. That leads me to my second wish. Okay, genie. My second wish is to no longer have detention. No one gets to detention. Ever! Really? No more detention? Wow, that's pretty selfless. Your wish is my command! The next day. Okay, class, everyone, take out your homework. Now, I know it was a lot of homework, but, you know, I still expected you to do every single page, even if it took you till midnight. Molly, where's your homework? Yeah, well, uh, here's the thing. I didn't do it. <laughs> well... I wish there was a way to punish you for not following my orders, but since nothing actually exists like that, I guess I can't do anything about it. You didn't do your homework. Oh, well. Thanks, Thanks Jeannie. That's awesome. Hey, you know, it, it's what I do. So what is your last wish, my master? Last wish? I can't believe I'm to my last wish already. You've been in my life like one day. I don't know. I've got it. I'll wish for more wishes! Wrong! Remember the rules! No wishing for more wishes! Ow! Okay, um, that stinks. Who made up that rule? Um, uh, the infinity of the cosmos. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, the only way you could really have more wishes is like, you know, if you were a genie. Then you have like all the wishes you want. It's pretty cool, actually. I just got a fabulous idea. Genie, my last wish is to take your job. Are, are you serious? You, you sure you really want that? Yes, I wish to be your replacement. Uh, okay, your wish is my command. Whoa, I feel really weird. Um, Molly, are you okay? Do you need to go lay on the magic cot in the school nurse's office? Holy crap! What happened to my hair? I ate way too many donuts to be this buff. <laughs> I am the great and powerful genie Molly! <laughs> I shall wish to eat all of the burritos in the entire world! Well, you got your wish. <laughs> Good luck with it! I love this! I'm a genie! Whoa, what's happening? Wait, what's happening? Let me out of here! I didn't think if I was a genie I'd become a prisoner! Let me out! Let me out! I totally need some Starbucks. I need coffee and I need a donut. Stat! What's this thing? Looks rare and expensive. And like I'd be the only one that had one. Whoa, that was weird. It was only in there for like three seconds. Thanks for letting me out. Wait a minute. You're my master? What? A genie? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Sarah the bully is my master? What the I I quit! <laughs> You're my genie. There is no quitting. Now tell me, how many wishes do I get? You get... I can't believe this is my life right now. You get three wishes. And ex on wishing for more wishes. It's against the rules, Sarah. <laughs> Perfect. I wish that I was the biggest baddie in the whole world. Oh, yeah, that's so original. <sighs> okay. Your wish is my command, Sarah. <laughs> I'm the biggest baddie there ever was! <laughs> oh no! It's Sarah! She's a monster! Why is this math homework?
homework so hard. Well, Molly, maybe it's so hard because you're busy kind of watching Brooke High instead of paying attention. Yeah, Molly, you can't watch TV and study at the same time. Um, yes I can. It's called multitasking. Yeah, and you're going to do two things terribly. Ay, ay, ay. Just pay attention, Molly. Seriously, turn off the TV. Oh, this homework really is so hard. I have to admit, it is pretty challenging, Daisy. Why you guys say it's so hard? It's not so hard being a big kid. What? Yes, it is. What do you know about it? You're just a baby. But I think being a big kid is super easy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, baby Kira, we think being, being a baby is pretty easy. Yeah, what's so hard about being a baby? I've see learning how to eat. Learning how to not swirl, learning how to crawl, learning how to walk, learning how to poo poo on the party is very challenging. <laughs> All of that stuff is baby stuff. That's not even difficult. Try doing this math homework. You just forget what it's like to be a baby. It's harder than it looks. I dare you and I'm forgiven to be babies for 24 hours. Then maybe you'll remember. 24 hours? Easy peasy. It's going to be the easiest 24 hours of my life. I take the dare. Yeah, I think I'll take the dare too. It's been a long time since I've been a baby. Well, not that long. You were just crying over your spilled makeup yesterday. That was pretty babyish. Molly, stop teasing me. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm just being a good sister and driving you crazy. I think that it's time for you all... To be babies! <laughs> no, Mommy, not that real. You're a newborn. You have to be about a year older. Oh, my bad. Is this better? Yeah, you are little babies like me. And now you have to live your life for the next 24 hours in my world. Good luck! Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. You're not allowed to eat anything out of the fridge where your mom said. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Brookie. Come on. We have to go to the diner. I'm hungry. <laughs> also, you're a big crybaby. Take that back. You're going to get a timeout. No way. You can't give me a timeout. You're not my mommy. Is it just me or is this table like really tall? I can't even see over the top of it. How am I going to eat my food? Well, Molly, that's because we're a lot smaller because we're babies. So we can't see over the table anymore. Well, they should make baby tables at the diner. It's just rude that they don't have baby tables. They do, Molly. It's called a high chill. Duh. Whatever, Daisy. You're so rude. You think you're so smart. Oh, well, you're just a baby like the rest of us. What? Why is a baby waiting on us? Because, Molly, remember, everybody in Brookhaven is a baby for 24 hours. Holy guacamole. Well, I guess she's our waitress. Hi, I'll be taking your order today. Sorry, I'm still working on my speech and everything, but what can I get for you? I'll have a Happy Meal. Sorry, this isn't McDonald's, duh. But I wanted a Happy Meal. <coughs> Molly, stop being such a baby. She can't help it. She actually is a baby. I'm going to get you a kid's meal, though, if you want or something. Yeah, I guess a kid's meal will be good. Yeah, I'll have a kid's meal, too. Three kid's meals, please. Hey, wait, aren't you going to write down what we want? No, I'll have right. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I got to remember it. Well, we did only order three kid's meals. Yeah, but we still need drinks. I want... Hey, wait, I'm not done ordering. My, don't be rude. Couldn't get us kicked out. Okay, well, I wanted something to drink. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Being a baby is making me kind of cranky. Oh, no, she pooped her pants, didn't you, Molly? No, but Daisy, I can't even see your face. Your stand up, you're so short. Don't tease me, okay? I'm not. I just, I can't even talk to you because you're so short. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm standing on the table. I'm coming over there to sit next to you guys. No, you can't sit here. You're too big. What? No, I want to sit with you guys. What's taking our food so long? Hey, what are you doing up there? 
Oh, sorry, Dada Bunny Chippa. I forgot to put in your order because I got busy watching Coco Melon. You ever see this Halloween special? Hey, it's not even Halloween! Oh my gosh. This baby waitress is annoying. Where are all the grown ups? There weren't any, Molly. We're all babies. Oh, my stomach's really starting to growl. I'm gonna start getting hangry. Ah. Here you go. Order's up. What, a bottle? Wait, why are we get to, ugh, Fine. I guess I'll just drink this bottle. Sorry, the cook is a baby and he doesn't know how to make the kids meals. It's all right. I'm a baby, so I like baby bottles. Blech. Ew, Molly, gross. Yeah, Molly, see, excuse me. Nah, I'm a baby. I don't have to. That bottle was good, but I'm still hungry. Well, we could go to the grocery store and we could get um some food there. Oh, that's exactly what a parent would do. All right, let's go. We can get some. We can get some. Um, we can get some candy. We can get some popcorn. That doesn't sound very healthy, Molly. Of course it doesn't. We're babies. We want to eat anything we want. And a cheeseburger. And Molly, the grocery store doesn't have a made cheeseburger. Okay, well they might. They might. I want to get in the car, Molly. Me too. I want to ride in the car too. Nah, 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 nah. Um, apparently we can't ride in the car because hey, I wanted to ride in the car. Oh, you're too fat. I can't push you. I am fat. I'm just tiny, baby, and you are too, and that's why you can't push me because you're not strong enough. Okay, fine, whatever. Just get out of the cart so I can put Doritos in there. Okay, I put Doritos in the cart. Okay, is it, it's not letting me put Doritos in the car. All right, I'll just I'll put them in my hands. That that'll that'll work. Okay, I got some Doritos. You guys get you guys get some soda and Daisy. You you get um you get a candy bar. Boy, she's a boss, baby. If I ever saw one. Come on, guys. I'm hungry. I want to check out. Wait, there's there's no cashier. Yeah, there's a cashier. I'm just down here. What? A baby cashier? And it's a boy! What? It's a boy? <laughs> it's a boy! Um, you you have to have money to buy that. Money? Is that how our parents get all this cool stuff? Glug, 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 glug. I don't know. I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I didn't know I had to pay for it. Oh my gosh, you better call the police. You're gonna end up in jail. Okay, here you go. Here's your Doritos back. It's okay. We'll go get some money. We just gotta go to the bank. All right, let's go to the bank, guys. Guys, come on. Daisy, don't steal the candy bar. What are you doing? I'll pay for it when we get back. No, leave it here. We're going to get arrested. And then we'll be in baby jail. I've heard horrible stories about baby jail. They don't even come in to change our diaper. Um, guys, what are we waiting for? We're not allowed to cross the street without a grown-up to hold our hands. Yeah, everybody knows that. That is so wrong when you're a baby to cross the street without your parents. You can get hit by a car. I don't see a car anywhere, guys. Well, we still can't cross the street without a grown-up. Then we're just going to be standing here forever. I nominate Molly to be the grown-up. Okay, Molly, you look both ways. No cars. Okay, we can go. Excuse me, cash machine. I would like to get some cash. Uh, Molly, I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to have, like, this card thing. Card thing? Well, I don't have one of those. I thought it was just, like, it could just, like, hear what we wanted and give us money. Molly, did you ever really pay attention when Mom came to the ATM? Not really, but where are we going to get one of these cards? We're not, Molly. Just face it. We're terrible as babies. Oh, baby Kira was right. Being a baby is harder than I thought. And squishier. What do you mean, squishy, Molly? What do you mean by that? Yeah, Molly, did you step in some slime or bubble gum on the way over here? No! I made a doo-doo in my diaper and it's super squishy! Ew, gross, Molly! Is that what that smell is? It smells like cow poo! Ew, Molly! Somebody changed my diaper! Not me, I'm out of here! Me too, gross! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, I thought you were my best friend. Well, you're my sister. You're going to help me, right? Absolutely not. Goodbye, squishy butt. <laughs> this video is hilarious. Uh-oh. Gotta go potty. Oh, um, gee. Just drop my phone.
in the toilet, and now it's ruined! Oh no! Oh. Whoa, Molly, what's wrong with you? I got a new monkey. I love my monkey toy. No one cares about the monkey. Whoa, Molly, rude. That's your baby sister you're talking to. Try to be nice. Sorry, I'm just having a really bad moment. What is it, Molly? What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> you made your phone swim in the toilet? <laughs> it's not funny, Daisy. My phone is ruined. I could get you out of my monkey and give you a hug. You feel better. I don't want your monkey to feel better. I want my phone. I was right in the middle of watching this super funny video. Well, <sighs> sorry, Molly, but I don't have any money you can borrow for a new phone. I'm going to ask Mom if she'll give me money. <laughs> yeah, right. She already bought you a new phone. I know, but I've got to try. Oh, hi, Molly. I'm just making the grocery list. Is there anything special you'd like from the grocery store? Now that you mentioned it, I'd like some pop tarts, some chocolate ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream cones. Um, some chocolate bars. Ooh, the cupcakes that have like the fudge in the center and Molly. No, not a bunch of junk food. Oh, okay, I guess this day is just getting worse and worse and worse. What's wrong, Molly? You can talk to me about anything. Mom, I know you just bought me a new phone because I dropped the other one in the parking lot at school and it smashed it, but I um, had another little accident with my new phone. Wait, what? Don't tell me that you ruined your new phone. Well, I was watching this video and I know you said don't take it into the bathroom because I'm clumsy and I'm probably going to, you know, drop it in the toilet. And well, exactly what you said would happen. Happened! Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Yeah, kind of funny, right? Daisy laughed. No, not funny. Did it ruin it? Um, yeah, and I was hoping. Would you give me some, 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 more, some more money, Mom? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but... I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Uh-oh. What? What am I going to do with it out of phone? Read a book? Play outside? Um, count cheap? I don't know. Mom, that's what you do when you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas then. Nobody knows. The trouble I'm in, nobody knows how sad I am. Told you, Molly, she wasn't gonna go for it. Girls, I need you to go up and clean your rooms, please. Seriously, could this day get any worse? Baby Kira and I are gonna head out to the grocery store. Are you ready, Baby Kira? I wanna be my monkey, kid, Mom. Okay, honey, let's go. <laughs> Stop crying. How will I Snapchat? How will I play Roblox? <laughs> How will I text Brookie? How will I call to order DoorDash? Worst day ever. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Daisy, could you stop being so happy around me? Sorry, it's just my nature. My name is Daisy. Daisy, stop singing that song. It's driving me crazy. Whoa, you are so grumpy and rude right now, Molly. I'm just doing my chores and trying to keep a happy outlook on life. Well, there's nothing happy. I broke my phone. I sunk it to the bottom of the toilet ocean. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't supposed to not laugh there because it's not funny, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Sorry, toilet ocean. Your, your phone was like a, a sinking ship. <laughs> Daisy, my life is over. Marty, it's just a phone. Go out and live your life if you need to. I can't. My phone to Snapchat, DoorDash, texting, looking at funny videos, Roblox. Oh, Marty. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get a job. A job? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Jobs are worse than homework, I bet. 
yeah, there's someone bossing you around, and you have to do what they say, but basically you get money for it, so I guess it's better than homework in that way. Ugh, I think I might be way too lazy for that. I'm gonna go make myself feel better by eating a cookie. Well, at least I still have you, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Friends for life. Mm. Delicious. Uh, I guess I'll just go watch some TV. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money! And loads of it! Holy guacamole, it's $500! <laughs> well, I guess the hands of fate have spoken. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Daisy, I'll see you later. I'm going to town. Gonna take a nice little walk. Uh-oh. Mom, can I have a chocolate bar? Well, I don't know, honey. The budget's kind of tight this week. I really want something delicious. I'll tell you what. If you're a good girl while we're in the store, I'll buy you a chocolate bar and we can split it, okay? Okay, I love it. I want the chocolate kind with your peanut butter. Oh, Reese Cups. Good choice, baby Kira. I love it. Hi, welcome to Sunshine Market. Are you having a good day today? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> I mean, I could afford all my groceries, which is surprising because it seems like they keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been complaining about that recently. Okay, let me just load up your cart for you. Okay, that will be $495.98. Wow, I kept it under $500 for our whole huge family? Ah, that's awesome. And that's for two weeks of groceries. Okay, where's my money? It was right here in my pocket. Um, do you have the money to pay? I don't know what happened to the money. It was right here in my pocket. And, and oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll have to pay with my, my credit card. <laughs> I've been trying to just use cash, you know, that way I don't spend more than I have. But um, I guess I'll just use my credit card and try to find the money later. Well, you need to have groceries, so I guess you will. <laughs> Hopefully you find your money, though. I'm so happy right now, because I got a new phone. <laughs> best day ever. It used to be the worst day, but now it's the best one. I have no idea where that grocery money went, except for the fact that I have, well, a little bit of a hole in my pocket, and I think that it fell out the bottom of my pocket. Oh, no. I go get mama, and we can go be okay. Oh, where am I gonna get $500 to pay off the credit card bill? Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I just know it. Mom, what exactly are you doing? Did you lose one of your contacts again? No, I just, I lost this money and... Well, you did? I took two of mama, I have. I have mama, I get you, I get you, What's everyone doing? Are we pretending we're dogs? I can play this game too. Woof, woof, woof. No, Mama lost our money. What? What did you say? I can't understand you. You're talking baby talk. She's saying that Mom lost her money. She has a little hole in her pants pocket and the money fell right out. Wait, what? You, you lost money? H how much? $500. It was the money I was taking for the groceries. <laughs> well, you should be real more careful with your money, Mom. You shouldn't just leave it laying around. What? What are you talking about? Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now or else. Um, uh, uh, uh. uh -oh. It was, it was Daisy. What? What? I, I, I. Daisy? You are grounded for a month. But I, I, I... I can't even believe this, Daisy. Maybe from Molly, because she's sometimes naughty, but not you. I don't know what to say. I'm... I, I, I... Uh... Uh-oh. Well, Molly, thank you for telling me the truth about that. Um, you're... You're welcome? <laughs> 
so disappointed in Daisy. Obviously, if there's money just laying on the floor inside our house, it belongs to somebody. Why would she think she could just take it? Um, because she didn't realize that it belonged to you? Well, it belonged to somebody. People don't just leave $500 laying around, do they? I don't know. Maybe the universe just wanted you to have it. Molly, quit trying to make excuses for Daisy. It was wrong of her to not try to find the owner of the $500. Yeah, so wrong. I found the money. Well, no, baby Kara. Uh, we already found the money and Daisy has it. I wonder what she spent it on. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Baby Kara, what are you eating? I found this hot dog under the couch. Oh, honey, that's super old. We ate hot dogs like a month ago. Where did that come from? Ew. Oh, nobody cleaned out of the couch. Ew, stop eating that, baby Kara. That's gross. Stop it. It's mine. I eat it if I want. Oh, gross. My life is over. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I didn't actually take the money. I just got accused of taking the money. I was so upset and emotional. I didn't think about this, well, with my brain. And the truth of it is, I just got framed. I was too busy crying and sad and upset that mom thought I did something wrong. I forgot about the fact that I didn't actually do something wrong. And now I'm going to find out who did. <laughs> this video is hilarious. <laughs> Daisy, I'm on the toilet. What are you doing? Molly, where did you get that new phone? New phone? What new phone? Uh oh Molly, you found the $500 on the floor and you bought a new phone with it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't have a phone. I'm innocent! Molly, you framed me and you got me in so much trouble with mom. That's it. I'm telling mom! What? No, Daisy, you tattletale! Don't you dare! Okay, what am I going to do with this new phone? i got to hide the evidence. Oh, I can't flush it down the toilet. It's too beautiful! Don't even think about it! Daisy, you'll pay for this! Um, why are we hanging out in the bathroom, girls? Did the toilet plug again? Molly, you really need to eat less bean burritos. She flamed me! What? Well, her picture is pretty nice from school, but I didn't know you had a frame to put it in. No, Mom! Flamed as in she made me guilty when she was guilty. What? No, it was Daisy. She took the $500. She bought a new phone. Check her pockets. Daisy! What? Molly, show me your pockets. Um. Molly! <gasps> uh, Molly, you are grounded. I'm sorry. I didn't know the $500 belonged to, to you, Mom. Well, who did you think it belonged to? Maybe Daisy. Well, did you think Daisy would want you to steal her money? Well, I figured finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> Molly, not in this house. Not in this house. I'm sorry, Daisy, that I accused you. Well, it was actually Molly. You were just doing your mom duties. <sighs> Molly, you are grounded for the next two weeks. And I'm going to expect you to do chores to earn that money back. Can I keep the phone? Not. Well, I don't know what to do about that, but... You're grounded from it for at least two weeks. And I can't believe... Wait, did you just have the phone next to the toilet again? Uh, she did. No, you're grounded from the phone for at least a month. Until you can pay me back for it. Ugh. This turned back into the worst day ever again. Ugh. I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? 
I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. Now come on, let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no, thank you. Sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much! You, you need to eat more food! Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes. Are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect. Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely. Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. Wow. <laughs> this place is so adorable. <coughs> oh, look, honey, this is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. Um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Aww. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Hi, you're welcome. If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna. Sorry about that. <laughs> we're just feeling very happy these days because... My belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Uh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Well, let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese. This place is amazing. I gotta look around. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now. <laughs> I gotta do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke. It's like when we were kids. Oh, I landed on my tummy. Ugh. I'm telling you, she's going to give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. 
What? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I, I'm gonna have the baby. What are we gonna do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's going to have going to. She's going to have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh, man. I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom, though, and, and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously. You're going to have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay. I'm serious. For reals. I'm being serious. <sighs> no, look at my face. I'm I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran into the door! I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi, I'm Daphne and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's, she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it. Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense. Everybody stop talking. Ah, I'm gonna have a baby. Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to push, Molly. Ah! Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, 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 that's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh no, I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Well, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. Uh-oh! <laughs> la la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're going to name her? No! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Uh, no. They just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food. So, I was really hungry. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but wait, are are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh, no. None of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> 
Well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like I don't like to bother anybody. I just I just mind my own business. I'm You're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV! Oh yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little baby child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa, Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute, she looks like me? <gasps> she acts like me? Hey, I, 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 I can't believe it. What is it? Mrs. Acker, is everything okay? I don't think so. Why? What's going on? And why are you hanging out with Hannah? Everybody knows she's the troublemaker. Uh-oh! Because I think Hannah might actually be my daughter. Wait, what? Have you gone bonkers? Did you get a bonk on your head? <laughs> Listen, lady, I'm no kid of yours. Actually, that's exactly what I would have said when I was her age. I was basically a little demon child. And, well, Maggie doesn't look anything like me or my husband, nor does she act like either of us. Hmm, that sounds like you've got a bonk on your head and have gone crazy. <laughs> but, but I'm pretty sure that Hannah is actually my daughter. <sighs> Seriously, I'm going to call the doctor for you. Go on in, he's going to check out your head. What? No, I'm telling you the truth. I don't think you're my mom, lady. You're crazy. Why won't anybody listen to me? She really is my daughter. I know it. I can sense it. She's just like me. She looks just like me. I'm going to have to call the police if you don't calm down. Ah! Mom! Mom, I have a question. Don't say no before you hear me out, okay? Rookie, what is it? I have so many chores to do today, honey. Mom, I know you always say no to me having sleepovers, but, but, but. Ah, oh, Brookie, not this again. Every weekend, honey, I told you no sleepovers. But mom, I've been doing so good in school. I've been studying, doing all my homework, getting perfect grades. Please, we'll follow your rules. Just let me have Molly and Daisy over, please. Ah, Brookie, all right. Yes, you can have a sleepover this one time. Seriously, Mom? Are you serious? Yes, I get to have a sleepover. Do, 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 do. But you must follow all of the rules. Yes, I know, Mom. We'll follow all the rules. I promise. If you don't, no more sleepovers. Okay, Mom. We'll follow all the rules. Just let me be happy, okay? All right, Brookie. I've got a lot of chores to do. <sighs> Make sure you call your friends and let them know. I will, Mom. Hey, what's up? Molly, is that your new way of answering the phone? No one ever calls me, so I don't really know how to answer a phone. I usually just text. Well, um, you might want to work on it a little bit because that was kind of funny. That's exactly my personality. Funny. Hey, what's up? So, yeah, what is actually up? Why are you calling me? Why didn't you just text me? Because I'm too excited. I have to tell you, like, well, not in person, but, like, so you can hear my voice. My mom finally agreed to a sleepover. Say what? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> it only took me two years of asking and begging every weekend. She finally said you guys can come over for a sleepover tonight. Are you and Daisy busy? 
Doesn't matter what our plans are, we'll be there! Daisy! 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 What? What are you yelling at me for, Molly? I'm not yelling. I'm, I'm excited at yelling, I guess. Okay, Molly, calm down. What is it? Boogie just called me. And then, and then, and then, her mom finally said she could have a sleepover. Yeah. Holy guacamole! Really? When? Like, next year? Next ten years? When did she say? Tonight! Really? Oh my gosh, we're finally having a sleepover at Boogie's house. Yeah, we've got to pack a bag. We have to be there in 30 minutes. What? I'll never be ready in time. I have so much to pack. Daisy, all you need is a pair of pajamas. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't you be ridiculous. I'm a fashionista. I'm Daisy and I must always be dressed perfectly. Daisy, no one cares what you're wearing to the sleepover. It's just going to be the three of us. I still want to look amazing for it. Okay, Daisy, if you say so. I'm just going to grab some, uh... Some pajamas out of the dirty clothes. Ew, Molly! Yeah, I sort of forgot to do my laundry. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, guys! Welcome to my house! Come on in! Uh, 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 uh! Stop right there! What, what, what did I do? You have to take your shoes off and then wash your feet in this bucket, please. Oh, Mom, not the bucket, please! Ugh, it's so embarrassing! I just had these floors put in and they are perfect. I don't want any scuff marks or dirt on them ever. I have some indoor shoes you girls can wear. They're brand new, so you won't get anything on them. Whoa, would you have them in my size? Of course I do! <laughs> All right, so just stick your feet in the bucket, please. You can leave your, your bags right over there. Oh, my gosh. Your mom is really, well, strict. I know, I know. Don't remind me. Okay, just got to get my other foot. Okay, Daisy, your turn. Wow, I never met such a neat freak before. Yeah, that's just how my mom is. Come on, guys. Um, Let's go make a snack. Ooh, snacks, my favorite. Hey, Brookie's mom, uh, what kind of snacks you got? We have healthy food, like apples and bananas and we'll take some popcorn so we can watch a movie um popcorn is really messy mom come on it's my first sleepover everyone has popcorn at sleepovers it's true pretty much everybody does have popcorn at sleepovers okay girls i'll have the vacuum ready um all right <laughs> whoa your mom really is kind of strict brookie I know, don't remind me. Oh, this popcorn is delicious. Come on, guys, let's go watch the movie. Ah, uh, excuse me, excuse me. What, what's that sound? That's the alarm. You are not supposed to be eating in the living room. And it's the alarm to tell you to stop immediately. But we're about to watch a movie. Brookie, uh, what's going on here? Um, Mom doesn't allow us to eat in the living room. Well, how do you eat popcorn when you're watching a movie? You don't. You just eat your popcorn in the kitchen and then you come watch the movie afterwards. But that's not how you watch a movie. Molly, don't say anything. We don't want to get Bookie in trouble. Okay, Bookie Bob, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, eat our popcorn out here. Yeah, we'll eat our popcorn out here. Sorry my mom is so strict, guys. I I'm really sorry about this. It's not your fault, Brookie. <clears throat> not here. Have some popcorn and don't worry about it. I hope she doesn't ruin your sleepover. Our sleepover, Brookie, and of course she won't. We're all together, and that's all that matters. Brookie, don't forget to vacuum up if there's any popcorn kernels on the floor. I don't think I dropped any. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. I made a total mess. <laughs> don't worry about it, Molly. I'll vacuum everything. Ah, <sighs> so much for relaxing at my sleepover. Molly, maybe we should have had a sleepover at our house. Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. This is very important to Brookie to have it at her house. We're going to support her, even if her mom is kind of crazy strict. Let's watch this movie, everybody. Which movie should we watch? Ooh, this one about kittens and puppies. So adorable. Should we watch... <gasps> the new Brook High movie is out. Do you guys want to watch it? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Brookie. Turn that frown upside down. It's going to be a great movie. Ah, perfect. My tummy's all full of popcorn. We're watching the Brook High movie. This is going to be amazing. That movie is entirely too loud. You girls are going to hurt your ears. Turn it down. But it's a movie. We're supposed to listen to it loud. Besides, you have this really cool sound system in your house. I know. I had it. Pay I had paid to have it installed. Except for we never use it, Mom. Um, okay. Well, they installed it, so it's really loud. It's okay. 
Okay, um, Bookie's mom, we'll just tune it down, no problem. Okay, girls, well, enjoy your movie. Quietly. See what I mean? She's going to ruin everything. Don't say that, Bookie. Everything's gonna be okay. We're having a great time, right, Molly? You betcha, Brookie. Perfect time. Thanks for saying that, guys. It makes me feel a lot better. Oh, no, guys, it's nine o'clock. We have to go to bed. What? But the last 15 minutes of Brook High is on. That's right, girls. Nine o'clock bedtime and no chit chat after you go to sleep. Um, well, maybe we won't go to sleep till midnight. <laughs> I don't think so. You should be asleep by 9.15 after you brush your teeth, that is. Wow. Um, what if you can't fall asleep? That's not an option, Molly. Mom always has us go to sleep at 9.15 sharp. And you're wasting time, girls. But we didn't even get to see the end of Brook High. In this movie, I've been wanting to see it for like three months. Sorry, maybe you can watch it another time. But it's the last 15 minutes. Come on! No, Molly. If you'd like to spend the night at our house ever again, I suggest you listen to my rules. Um, okay. I'll go brush my teeth and get my pajamas on. Oh, man! We <laughs> packed the same pajamas! Oh, we look adorable to Wednesdays! Ugh! I hate when we look like twinsies. Ha <laughs> ha Molly. Whoa, you guys look like twins. Yeah, don't remind me. Oh my, those pajamas won't do. What? Why? Don't we look adorable? We look like twins? Um, no. You look like you're going to be freezing all night. I keep the temperature as exactly 60 degrees. What? But it's like 20 degrees outside. We'll be cold. That's why we always wear wool pajamas to bed. It saves on the heating bill. But... But wool pajamas are going to be itchy. Ugh. I'll be up all night scratching. Well, Brookie wears them without complaint. Uh-huh. Yep, I do. I have some extra pairs you girls can wear. Now it's already getting late. So I want you to get changed and go right to sleep. Uh, okay, lady. I feel like we're in prison. We're all wearing the same outfit. You all look perfectly identical. I love it. You'll stay super warm tonight. Okay, Brookie, you take the top bunk. Molly, you can take the bottom. Daisy, the sleeping bag will, bag will be nice and toasty for you. Good night, girls. Uh, good night, Brookie's mom. Ugh, Brookie. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have invited you over. I'm feeling really sad that, well, I haven't had a very good sleepover. Nonsense, Brookie. We know it's not your fault, and we still had fun, right, Daisy? Marty, don't keep talking. Her well, mom seems kind of crazy, and, well, she said no talking. We have to go right to sleep. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't go right to sleep. That's just not how I am. I'm coming up there, Brookie. Oh, um, Molly, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I feel kind of sad for you, Brookie. I mean, your mom is so strict. I know she is. I love her, but why does she got to be so strict all the time? She needs to have some fun once in a while. Brookie, I know exactly what's going to make you feel better. Let's turn that frown upside down. Molly, seriously, be quiet. Oh, she can't hear us. The door is closed anyway. I have a, a great joke for you. What did the Dalmatian dog say after lunch? What, Molly? What did it say? <laughs> that hit the spot. <laughs> all this commotion about in here uh-oh warned you guys <gasps> what molly you're out of bed and brookie you're laughing that's it you're grounded and you're never having a sleepover ever again no but 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 brookie's mom d -d don't do this it wasn't brookie's fault please brookie's mom d -d don't ground her it was my fault well maybe i should call your mom and get you grounded as well what no okay no that's taking a little too far Mom, it's okay. I'll just be grounded and and never have a sleepover again. What? No, Brookie! Look, Brookie is my best friend, and I know I'm just a kid, and you don't have to listen to me, but I think you're being really mean. I mean, you're being too strict. I mean, it's a sleepover. Kids are supposed to have fun at a sleepover. We're supposed to eat popcorn on the couch and 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 leave a mess that we can clean up in the morning and and do crafts and finish the movie and then we're supposed to stay up till one o'clock in the morning giggling and talking and it doesn't matter if you don't get any sleep because we are having fun and the world revolves around us okay we only get to be kids once and you're taking this special time from your daughter do you want to do that lady i mean look at your daughter's face she's super unhappy 
can't you just let her have this one night to be happy? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that being a strict mom was making her so unhappy. Yeah, and it's making me unhappy too because I wanted to finish the rest of that movie and I didn't get to. Molly, you're getting off the subject. Anyway, I care about my friend and I want her to be happy. She's not saying she won't clean up in the morning. She's not saying she won't get good grades. She's not saying any of that. She's a really good kid. Actually, she kind of makes me look bad because I don't do my homework nearly as much as she does. But, but anyway, like, can you just give her a break? Oh my God. Brookie, come down here, please. Oh, great. My pep talk didn't work. Brookie's still gonna get grounded. It's all my fault. Yes, Mom. I'm sorry. I I'll do anything you want. Just, just don't be mad at me. Oh, Brookie. I think I've been making some mistakes as your mom. What? A grown-up apologizing? I must be hearing things. Brookie, I thought by being strict I could keep you safe and successful in life. But the truth is, is everyone needs to have fun sometimes. And it hasn't been fair of me to just, well, control your life like crazy. Plus, it's exhausting. I think you should start being in control of your own life a little. Really, Mom? Are you, are you saying that I'm not grounded? No, you're not grounded. And you girls can come out and watch the rest of your movie. Whoa. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. A grown-up actually listened to what I had to say. I thought I was pretty smart. I can tell that you and Molly are BFFs, and of course Daisy too. <sighs> oh, she so cannot hang. Seriously, she's already sleeping over there. Well, you two can go finish the movie and you can even eat popcorn on the floor, not on the couch. Well, I guess you win some and you lose some. And, and you should vacuum up the crumbs in the morning and, mom, you're getting strict again. Okay, sorry. Trying to chill. <laughs> Maybe I should go take a bubble bath and just try to relax. Yeah, I find eating a chocolate bar helps with that too, Brookie's mom. <laughs> Molly, do you actually know what my mom's name is? No, I just call her Brookie's mom. That's her name to me. <laughs> okay, Molly, well, let's go watch the rest of our movie. Daisy, are you going to come? Guess not. It's just you and me, Brookie. You and me. Wait, I went into the wrong room. How do I get out of here? I'm stuck! Molly, what took you so long? Your house is really big. I kind of got lost. <laughs> now, let's eat some more popcorn and watch the end of Brook High. Sounds good, Molly. Hey, thanks for standing up for me. No problem, Brookie. Molly, remember you have to sit on the floor if you want to eat some popcorn. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Ha, 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 ha.